All right, we cross over to politics political future of former Devolution Cabinet Secretary Anwe Guru appears to have hit head winds after the National Assembly adopted a report recommending she be barred from holding public office. Now, members of Parliament adopted the Public Accounts Committee report that was probing the NYS scandal that also once I investigated for her role in the scandal as well as recommends a lifestyle audit be undertaken. The development comes weeks after when Guru won the Jubilee ticket to buy for Kirinyaga governor. The ghost of the 1.2 billion shillings national youth service scandal seems to have returned to haunt some of those who were linked to the alleged multi-billion shillings haste. Order number eight, motion, report of the Public Accounts Committee on the Special Audit of NYS Accounts. And its return could claim casualties if implemented to the letter after MPs adopted a report by the Public Accounts Committee that warns fresh investigations conducted against the former devolution minister Anwai Guru for alleged over abuse of office and action taken against her if found culpable. I hereby put the question that this House adopts the report of the Public Accounts Committee on the special audit reports of May 2016 on the accounts of the National Youth Service, NYS, Volumes 1 and 2, laid on the table of the House on Thursday, March 16, 2017. Will as many as those opinions say aye? Aye. As many of the counter opinions say nay? Aye. The eyes have it. Waiguru will also be subjected to the process of establishing whether she contravened Chapter 6 of the Constitution, which provides that a state officer must bring honor to the nation and dignity to the office. In the report, legislators warned the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to conduct a thorough lifestyle audit of top officials of the Ministry of Devolution and the National Youth Service, including Waiguru, who is eyeing the Kirinyaga gubernatorial seat. We as Kenyans do not learn that after somebody has been named the main suspect, the orchestra, the planner, the facilitator of NYS scandal, the people of Kenya have let us down by making sure they elected the same person to run for the office of governor. Kenyans who continue to wallow in poverty have not found an answer in that report. And I can't blame the committee, because obviously the committee has got limited capacity to unearth the kind of theft that was going on in the NYS. According to the PAC report, the judiciary is required to establish if former Principal Secretary Engineer Peter Mangiti should be barred from holding a public office if found guilty. How many personalities are you? Are you just one Josephine Kabura? or you had several Josephine Kavuras, one which comes to Parliament. The judiciary has also been urged to expedite proceedings of money laundering case against Josephine Kabura and ten others implicated in the misappropriation of funds belonging to the National Youth Service. The Director of Criminal Investigations and the ESCC, on the other hand, will conduct thorough investigations to establish whether the governor of Central Bank, Dr. Patrick Jorogi, should be charged with abuse of office for abating the theft of funds at the Ministry of Devolution and the National Youth Service. Samson Kitavi, Channel One News. All right, that report by Samson Kitavi brings us to the end of our bulletin. Thank you so much for watching and for keeping us company. Uh, this conversation continues on our social media platform. And of course, for some of the stories that we had for you tonight, visit www.kbctv.co.ke. And of course, tomorrow morning, my colleague Martin Mwanje will be giving us a detailed report on some of the stories that we had for you. My name is Brenda Zedera and Thanks to everyone who has made this bulletin a success, including our sign language interpreter in the bottom right of your screen, Susan Thuku, our news directors, camera people. Thank you so much. God bless. Good night. Let's do this again tomorrow.